um, the general manager was also uh, attending and uh, she was also answering to all of our questions like a normal participant and that was really unique and uh, helped a lot during this program. Uh, I, will want, I want to say a little bit about the structure. We tried to mingle the uh, individual asset coaching with uh, team coaching with solution focus. So we always went from individual to group and then individual and then group and so. Um, <coughs> well, I want to add that we also use the appreciated inquiry. So when we did the coaching, we were very, uh, let's say, we tried to look for the successes that are already there. And uh, this whole approach that we came in the company was very shocking for the managers because they were expecting us to uh, make an analyze of what's going wrong and come up with some solutions for them. And we are always asking about successes. And in the end they said, oh, again, I'm coming here and you ask me about the success story, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it was really fun from this point of view. Thank you very much. So, moving further, we have been proud of sticking with the solution-focused approach, not being expert and not giving them the advices in a, such a way that uh, people first issue they realize that we are very proud of. In the, instead of being a team like this, they become a team like this. And the GM has presented us after two months since the program started. They had a huge problem in one day when two uh, governmental agencies came to control them. That means that everybody stopped their work, shut down the computer, opened the files, and they just say, and the government agents, to look at whatever they do. And the GM said, it took me only five minutes to say to my managers that we have this issue, and that was in front of the government agents, and I didn't say anything what to do in order to uh, make the problem to be solved. And the managers acted as they knew what to do. So she was very proud of them. And actually this is one, was one of the results when we have done at the end, what are you most proud of what you have done here? They said things like loyalty to each other and loyalty to the organization. And uh, we have used the scale of zero to 10 where we were ambitious there. Yes. We said 10 to be if your wildest expectation has happened. And guess what? The GM, who is a very careful in appreciation, said collaboration between my managers is at 10. And this is a big fact that I appreciate also. And uh, we have done the, the follow up after one year since we have started the program. And uh, in the preferred future, we have done about four fleet charts with what is 2010 January looks like. So this year, we have done like, how was the journey? And we took each objective they have established from those fleet charts. Believe it or not, they, there was about 85 or 90% of them already achieved and one of the participants said, actually, there are three more creatures with objectives we have achieved meanwhile. <laughs> if it is anything we would like to do different next time, it might take into consideration the participants' experience in the management. It's very hard to deal with zero experience and 15 years of experience in the same room. I don't know what we are going to do. Maybe we will propose to do something like a prerequisite for the workshop. Or maybe two separate workshops. Or maybe we will consider what the institute said once, when you have a classroom and you address to the entire classroom, please consider to address individually also in the same framework. And the second stop is about individual coaching. We have presented them the possibilities to have individual coaching and there were not actually all of them volunteering for this. So we can accept that the rate of successful for individual coaching was less than if we would see volunteer there. 